Mother Nature was not kind to the Pelicans as their game was suspended due to rain and lightning on Saturday. The good news though, the Pelicans were leading over the Carolina Mudcats when they picked up play on Sunday, needing to complete the end of their nine inning game before playing a seven inning game on the back end. Michael Heath took the ball in game number one as the Pelicans look to play two against Carolina. Let's see how they did. First, we rewind to Saturday before rain washed things away. No score in the bottom of the third minute. The corners, one out. Candelario with a grounder to first, and uh-oh, this could be two, but it gets away. Cue the circus music. Error from Friedemeyer puts the Pelicans on the board. It's one to nothing. Top of the fourth, and here comes the rain and the tarp. For the second time in the game, the tarp comes out. A delay of 16 minutes in the third, but after an hour and six minutes, the game was suspended due to rain. So now we're at Sunday. Same game, different day, and a new pitcher. Andrew Wozniak, after two perfect frames, loads the bases on three walks in the sixth. Victor Caratini says, thank you very much. I'll take that RBI. Single to center field, it's 2-0. Back-to-back fielders' choices bring in two more, and with two outs, break out Trey Martin. A two-hit game. He's hitting well over 300 in the month of July and puts the Pelicans on top 6-0. They didn't need any more, but they got it. Kevin Brown here with a big blast, a three-run shot. That sets up the final score, 9 to nothing. The Pelicans with nine runs in two innings. It was the third win for the Pelicans over Carolina of nine or more runs in just the past eight days, and the team's second straight win overall. Michael Heath took the hill when play resumed on Sunday, and he picked up the win in relief, his sixth out of the bullpen this year. He is 6-0. Now we go on to game two. This one was much more hard fought. Carolina posted the first run. Jeremy Knoll perfect through three, but after a leadoff triple in the fourth, Connor Lean takes a ninth pitch of the AB and wins out. RBI single to right, puts the Cats on top, one to nothing. Still against Knoll in the fifth, two outs, a runner on. Sal Giardina sends a ball down the line. We're going to have a play at the plate. Zagunis to Locker to Hankins. Oh, so close. Just safe, Odom sneaks around and under the tag to make it two to nothing. Per usual though, Myrtle had some fight in them. Chesney Young doubled his way aboard in Blair Walter's final inning of work in the sixth. And on a 2-2 pitch, Jamer Candelario lined it to right, Manessis fumbles with it, Young scores and it's two to one. That was it though, in the seven inning game, the Pelicans didn't muster another base runner as Richie Tate closed it out with a perfect ninth inning. Young reached in both games, extending his on-base streak to 31 straight games. It's the longest such streak in the Carolina League since 2012. The Pelicans will send Brad Markey to the hill, taking on Seth Webster for Carolina. It's a 7.05 first pitch, and Hannah's going to tell you about Thirsty Monday. Thanks, Nathan. Got the Monday blues? We will close this seven-game home stand with Thirsty Monday. Come enjoy Dollar Draft beers from 6 to 8 p.m. Fans, if you would like to receive half-price admission, donate an item from the approved Backpack Buddies donation list. It's going to be a great night here at Pelican Stadium. We'll see you at the ballpark.